Hi everybody, Max Lakato here. From my home to yours, one day at a time, we're hanging in there, moving forward in faith. May He lift your spirit today. Your prayers are being heard in heaven. I know, that's an audacious statement. I believe it though. I believe your prayers are being heard in heaven, and I believe it because of a couple of stories I want to share with you. But before I share those stories, let me invite you to post your prayer needs on the page. We're doing our very best to pray over them, and you might help us read over these statements, and let's pray for one another. Also, at the end of my brief message, uh, Chris Tomlin has a special song for us. You know, Chris and I recorded a Good Friday service. TBN, Trinity Broadcasting Network, uh, carried that service. And it was so well received that TBN is carrying it again this evening. If you missed it the first time or if you'd just like to see it again, please check your local listings and be a part of this special, special service. A couple of people in Scripture remind us that our prayers are heard in heaven. One of those people is a leader by the name of Daniel. Daniel was, you might recall, uh, an important person during the season in which the Hebrews were in Babylonian captivity. He actually ascended right into the throne room of the king of Babylon and uh, was respected and highly regarded. But boy, more than anything, he was a man of God who believed in prayer and who believed that God's promise would come true, that the children of Israel would be returned to their homeland, would be freed to return to their homeland. He sensed that it was time, and so he began praying. He began asking God for direction. Now, in Daniel chapter 10, there's this fascinating story of Daniel's prayer. He prayed for three weeks and heard no answer. Three weeks, so much for a one-shot prayer, right? He just kept praying. He kept praying. And then after that, 21 days uh, had passed, an angel came to him. I'm reading now from Daniel chapter 10. Don't be afraid, Daniel, since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come to answer your prayer, but for 21 days the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me, and I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. Now I am here to explain what will happen to your people in the future. You see, the, uh, that's Daniel 10, 12 through 14, by the way. The moment Daniel began praying, the answer was issued. But demonic forces blocked the pathway of the angel, and the impasse lasted three full weeks until the archangel Michael arrived and, with his superior authority, uh, solved the issue. The standoff was ended, and the prayer was answered. Maybe you feel like your prayers are being met with the silent sky. Maybe you have prayed and, and feel like you're hearing nothing. Maybe you feel like you're floundering in that land between the offered and the answered prayer. If that describes you, oh, my friend, take heart. Take heart. God has heard your prayer. God has heard your prayer, and He is hearing your prayers. Again, Daniel 10 and verse 12, since the first day, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, your words were heard. You have been heard in heaven. Angels have been dispatched. Reinforcements have been rallied. I love this promise from Isaiah 49, 25. God promises, I will contend with him who contends with you. Do what Daniel did. Do what Daniel did. Just remain before the Lord. Stay before Him. Continue to seek Him. Realize that there is a spiritual battle that is taking place. But realize that if you are in Christ, you have aligned yourself with the King of Kings. And this promise that is found in Isaiah 40 in verse 31 is yours. Those who wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run 
and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. There is a special promise for those who wait on the Lord. Now, to wait, biblically speaking, is not just sitting in a waiting room, twiddling your thumbs. To wait is to hope in, to put your faith in, to keep looking up, to set your mind on God, to believe that He and He alone is the one who can deliver us out of our challenges. You just keep waiting on the Lord. Keep turning your heart toward Him. Angels are at His bidding, and they have been released. They have been commissioned. They have been sent to bring you hope. Angels protected, an angel protected Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. They'll protect you. An angel led Peter out of prison. Uh, An angel will lead you out of your shackles. Uh, God has sent His angels. He has commissioned His angels to care for you. You just keep praying. You just keep trusting. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14 says, All the angels are spirits who serve God and are sent to help those who receive salvation. You see, if you have said yes to Christ, then Christ has said yes to you, to protect you, to guide you. Now, there is no passage in Scripture that says that life will have no troubles. But there are abundant, abundant passages in Scripture that tell us that we never have to face our troubles on our own. Your prayers have been heard in heaven. And the same God who sent an angel to Daniel is the God who's going to send help to you. Hang in there, my friend. Just hang in there. Don't give up. Believe in the one who believes in you. And be blessed by this beautiful, beautiful song. You hear me when I call. You are my morning song. Though darkness fills the night, it cannot hide the light. Whom shall I fear? You crush the enemy. Underneath my feet, you are my sword and shield, though troubles linger still. Whom shall I fear? I know who goes before me, I know who stands behind the God of angel armies, he's always by my side, the one who forever. He is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. My strength is in your name. For you alone can save. You will deliver me, God. Yours is the victory. Oh, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend. always by my side and nothing formed against me shall stand you hold the whole world in your hands I'm holding on to your promises you are faithful Oh! Uh-huh.